Hello, this is Lucas with M2B Solutions. Uh, today we're going to look at the difference between VoIP and SIP. What is VoIP? How does it relate to my phone system? What is SIP? And how is it different from VoIP? I hear them both. Are they interchangeable? Are they the same thing? Why do I need it? What, is it? what does it mean? So let's start by looking at what I have on, on, on the board here. Um, VoIP stands for Voice over Internet Protocol. That means I want to send my voice through the Internet to get out to the rest of the phone world. And the whole process of doing that is VoIP. So from your phone to the provider to getting to the other people in the world, that's VoIP. Well, what about SIP? I've heard that term too. What does SIP stand for? Session Initiation Protocol. So if you have a system that uses VoIP to get you through the internet out to the phone, the software, the programming that makes it work is called SIP. There's other protocols too, don't get me wrong. This is the most common one. And that's why it's called SIP, Session Initiation Protocol. So SIP is what initiates the phone call and starts the transition of communication from your phone or phone system out to the internet into the phone world. Um, typically it's the connection to your SIP provider directly and they, they have their own connection to the phone world that they use. So, so let's look at on a practical level what all of this looks like. There is nice little companies called phone companies. I'm going to put that guy right there. And in the past they would sell you an analog line. They would use little telephone poles, right? We've seen those. And they send a wire to your home, copper wire, that gives you one phone line in or out at a time. So for every concurrent call that you want, you have to have an additional phone line. So that's the limitation of analog lines. The, the quality is analog, it's not digital. So the quality is lower, you're gonna get muffled sounds, sometimes crackling noises. Um, you can't send video over it because the bandwidth is too small. And so you go, okay, if I want to do all this fancy new, new technology stuff, can I do that over my analog lines? No, you can't. You have to use the internet and you have to use something like SIP to, to create a VoIP system that connects you to the phone world in a way that you can, that you can use. Okay, so you're at home, you just want a single phone what do you do? You can look it up on the internet and you can find multiple people and we're one of them. We can create a VoIP phone for you at your home and make it work. And you put a phone in at your house and that phone goes out to the internet through your own internet connection that you already have and connects to a cloud-based phone system. So there's providers out there like myself that will manage the phone system for you. They'll give you IVRs, they'll give you multiple rings. So you can have multiple phones set up at multiple locations. You could have one in your home here, one in Germany, one in Russia, and one downtown at grandma's house. And you can make them all ring at the same time using a cloud-based phone system. So you connect through the internet to this cloud-based phone system, and then they will send your phone calls to the phone world through the internet themselves. And that, this, this pink line, is VoIP. It's sending your voice over internet protocol to the phone world. That's VoIP. Okay, well what's SIP then? How, do, how does SIP come into play if I can just find a cloud-based provider? This cloud-based provider is going to charge you usually per phone, per extension that you have. So the more extensions you have, the bigger your bill gets. Okay, so what if I want to manage this myself? What if I don't want to use a cloud-based provider? What if I want to be the person that handles my own phone system? So let's go over here. Over here we have a business, typically, because they're the ones that usually have multiple phones. The business is going to use an on-site PBX. PBX is another name for, for phone system. So this phone system needs to connect to the phone world. How does it do it? Well, you have to find yourself a SIP provider. 
we are one of those as well. As well as being able to give people VoIP phones, single individual phones right at their house, we also are a SIP provider. So we will provide your connection to the phone world, to your phone system, through us. So you connect through the internet to your SIP provider, and then your SIP provider in turn connects you to the phone world. So this connection to your SIP provider uses session initiation protocol and connects you as many concurrent calls as you want to the phone world. And it uses your internet connection so you're not limited. Now, some SIP providers will give you channels and that's their way of being cheap and trying to give you lines rather than just giving you a, an open window, an open door, so to speak. So for every concurrent call that you want, you will pay an additional blah, blah, blah. I think that's it. When we, when we give you a SIP connection here, it's unlimited concurrent calls, as many as you want. So we help you secure it, we help you connect it correctly, and get all set up so that you have a secure, safe way to make internet-based calls anywhere in the US, Canada, Puerto Rico, um, and there's no, there's no additional charge for that U.S. calls. All your long distance fees that would have come with a analog line completely go away because you're now using the internet to send your calls so it can get everywhere instantly. There's no local or long distance. It's all local, so to speak. Same with the cloud-based phone system. There's no long distance fees. Now, when you call other countries, that's a whole other story. We won't get into international. The rates are the same whether you're using SIP or analog or cloud-based, you still have the same international rates for all of them. So this connection from your phone system, now it's your phone system that handles IVRs and extensions and voicemails and all of that kind of stuff. And you manage that on site or you hire a company like us to manage it for you. Um, as you can see with all the other videos I've created, I'm all about teaching you guys how to do this so that you don't have to come pay somebody like me to do it if you don't want to. Hey, if you want to, I'm here for you. Give me a call. Now, that PBX connects again through the internet to your SIP provider and the SIP provider sends it to the phone world. So whether you're handling your own phone system or you go with a cloud-based phone system, the whole concept of all of that is VoIP. It's using, it's using internet protocol to send your voice to the phone world. And that makes no analog lines that go here. Now, what if your internet goes out, then what do you do? A good SIP provider, like us, will have disaster recovery rules set up. So that if your internet gets disconnected, the, uh, the internet will detect, oh, I can't reach this anymore. And it will reroute your phone, phone call to anyone else that you want. If you, wanna, if you wanna send your phone calls to the president whenever your internet goes down, well, we'd have to get permission, but we could do that. Typically, we send it to a cell phone. We send it to uh, an analog line. So let's say you did keep an analog line going to your business and your internet went out, we could reroute those calls to that analog line and still bring in new calls. It's completely up to you where you wanna route the disaster recovery. It can detect when it's up, it can detect when it's down, um, can do all of that stuff. Now, one of the biggest, biggest perks of switching from analog to SIP is the di digital quality. All of your calls are now high definition. All of your calls will be crisp and clear. Um, you can actually do video calls because the bandwidth is high enough. You can uh, set up video phones that connect to video cameras and you can be sitting at home um, and then pick up your video phone at home and dial your camera at the office and it'll go through the internet and pop up your camera at the front door so you can see who is there. You can let people in. You can do all of that stuff. You can have an app on your phone that lets you connect to this system remotely. You can have remote extensions and connect all of that together much easier using a IP-based phone system than you can with the old analog stuff. So there's a lot of new features and a lot of cool stuff that can happen, but uh, learning, learning all those pieces is what you have need for. So if you have questions, send me an email, check out the uh, description below. It'll have my email address, our phone number. Um, we've got lots of tip sheets. We've got lots of helpful videos and tools on our site. 
please subscribe if you like this, if you want to see more of these. Um, if you have ideas or recommendations, please let me know. And I'd be happy to make some videos to, to really explain what all of this stuff means. Thanks for joining us. Again, N2V Solutions. Um, we'll see you next time.